So I'm at a place called Golden Rock. I bet you can guess why. Um, it's in Kiak on Mount Kiaktio or something like that. My pronunciation is not very good. Um, I left in the lake last night and took a night bus. Uh, 6.30 in the evening until we arrived in Nebego at 5 o'clock in the morning and then got on another bus at sort of just before 7 to get here um, and basically it's a sort of quite important Buddhist religious site and the golden boulder is balancing very precariously sort of um, on another boulder and so it's just all very awe-inspiring. Um, the place itself is just quite sort of bizarre. There's like music and lots of shops. And so, yeah, it's a bit kind of like an amusement park rather than a kind of religious site. But, you know, that's fine, I guess. Uh, the bus, like the small bus just to get up here was like really crazy and windy and everyone kind of like um, siding into everybody else. Uh, but ladies are not allowed to go and put gold on the rock. There are, a lot, there are signs that say lady is prohibited, so I'm a bit annoyed about that. I'd, I'd forgotten that that's a thing. I saw it somewhere else as well. Um, but maybe that's also the kind of like sleeping on the bus that's made me a little bit more irritable than usual. Um, so yeah, but beautiful views, just incredibly, we're you know, really high and it's just really, really gorgeous. So this is the morning view just after sunrise. Um, uh, at the monastery where I stayed the night. So you, I climbed up like an hour and a half up Mount Swagabin or something like that. Um, and it's pretty much like just stairs all the way up for an hour and a half. So it's really hot, really tiring. Um, I thought I was in good shape. Apparently I am not. Um, and then, yeah, like you arrive at the top and there's a monk who sort of asks if you want to stay and you say yes and um, on the other side there's a big stupa and uh, we saw the sunset there uh, and then had dinner so um, yesterday from where I was I took the bus to Paren and then I rented a bicycle and I cycled for an hour um, to the base of the mountain and then climbed up so uh, yeah, it's like pretty a pretty incredible experience actually. Um, this is the first time that I've actually been in a position to see the sunrise, even though I've been awake often at this hour. Um, and yeah, it's just pretty cool. Though there was a lot of sort of chanting and things quite early at kind of 4 a.m. So uh, yeah, maybe could have done with a bit more sleep. So having cycled back from the monastery, which took about an hour, um, I rented a little motor scooter and I've been checking out these like Buddha caves that you can see behind me. Um, and it's pretty bizarre. They're like normal caves and then they're just full of Buddhas. So I've been to like three or four, um, but they're still proper caves, which means that like the ground is kind of gross and like clay and um, yeah, not very nice, but because they're sacred, you have to take your shoes off. So um, yeah, again, and like lots of lights and so another kind of like bizarre thing, it's Saturday as well here, so um, which I, I don't never know what day of the week it is anymore. Um, so they've, they've all been quite busy with like local Burmese people kind of checking them out as well. Um, but it's really fun on the scooter. I really am enjoying that, so that's good. Uh, last stop is the Bat Cave. That's right. Um, so named because it is full of bats. And uh, around sunset, apparently there are like thousands of bats that just um, come out of this cave. So we'll see what that's like.